the command mode or the edit mode or control mode. So, but uh, once you got used, it's very simple and uh, very easy to use. So, uh, please try to get used to using the VI with uh, uh, GA. Okay. But to talk about the pro project zero. This project is like auction. First, first you need to create a trial process as the binder. After you try, after you create it, you need to return the PID of the trial. This trial is the binder. If then we start the auction by sending a message and the trial process we will return a randomly number from 0 to 100. After that, the, the parent process will choose which one is the winner. If that is tied, we will return and start again. After that, kill all trial process and exist. In this project, we have three endpoints. First, creating. Two is the IPC. The third is the queue. For the creating, first, you need to read. Read the user input. After you read it, and create the same number of the trial process. And then, you need to create. In the Linux, we usually use fork. And in the Windows, we usually use create process. If you want to create process in Windows, you have to use the Windows.h as the head file. And then IPC. In this project, we suppose three, three ways. First is message queue, and the second is shared memory. Finally, socket. Usually we use the shared memory. Of course, you can use another, another <coughs> device. And then, we need queue. In Linux, you just queue by a signal. But in Windows, you have to close the handle first and terminate it. And in this project, you cannot use Java. I know, I know in the guideline, they say you can use any programming language, but the process say, uh, the prophet say you cannot use, you cannot use Java in here. Okay? And then there is no GUI, no UI. <laughs> So there are only common lab interface. Third, you can use only the syscall or libraries, so that you can know it's Java, and you can use proxies or Windows API. And finally, if the program language supports the system call or the library, like the patent or pair, you can use it. Okay, that's it. Any question of the project Project Zero? Okay, great. the exercise lab to at first we need to talk about the file access permission 
let me log in the, the next. Can you guys see that? Is that too smart? Too smart? Can you use the second last icon to maximize the screen and then use the plus and control to increase the font size? You can maximize the screen, first of all. There's an icon to the left. I mean, I mean this board. Yeah, I'm talking about this. Maximize? Maximize it. There's an icon uh, to the third icon from the left side. Not like, not this one. This one? Yeah, this one, yeah. Done. Okay. And you can also increase the size by pressing Control and Plus. Find written preferences. Preferences. It's in the view. It's in the view of. Access permission. Here is my workplace, workplace directory, and we can use ls l to list all files. In here, we can see the permission of each file. Here. Select and we can see. Okay. So here is the permission 
just throw the four part. You have four parts. First, D. D is the is is directory, and then is the R W X. R is being read. W is being write, and X is being executed. Read is mean the user have the permission. You can read this file, and write is mean you can modify. And execute is mean this this file can be executed. For instance, here is the this one. This one is the C file, is the source code. It's usually is the text file. And here, this this one is is from the C file. It's a SQL SQL file is being computed. So here is the X. It can be executed. And we have three parts of R, W, X. Here, here, and here. It's for the three users. Here. The first one is owner. Usually, we use U. Use U. And the second one is group. It's the user in the same group. We usually use G, G, and the third one is other, is all other user. We use O. And this command is used for change permission of the this file for the. Is those three user? A is mean all users, and pass is mean give the permission of this, those user of this file, and minus is mean remove the permission. This common is mean give all user. The red permission and this comma is mean removed permission of others user and usually we can change permission by digit, alter digit, or we say alter number. In here we can see here this one is for the use. This one is for the G, and this one is for the O. Here is R, W, X. If he has permission, it's one. So here's one, one, one. One, one, one is seven. And here is R, X. For the G, he can have the red permission and S, Q permission. Here is one. You don't have a right, so it's zero. And here is another one. So it's one, zero, one, so it's five. Here is seven. So for this five, the permit permission is seven five five. And for for so this file is six four four. So you can use chld as your modifier. Chld seven five five to change, or you use chld to um, seven seven five to change this file. So education. Can you repeat all the, the numbers?
number of what? Can you repeat what the meaning of sound file then? Yeah, it can be. Okay. So you can see here, right? Uh, for this file, here is the read R double X, and we have the read and write permission. Yet S S Q permission, right? So is three number for R is one, for W is one, and for X is zero. So it's one one zero, right? And we changed it for the octal number. One, one, zero, zero, to zero, one, to two, and to, sorry, one to four. So, start, so four plus two plus zero is six. So yeah, here is six, and here is four, and here is four. Understand? So, any question yet? Okay. <clears throat> and then we are talk about the PS. If I use PS, you can see all process. But now it's only the phone shire and PS. <coughs> and we use PS.L, we can list, list it. Here is the UID, is the user ID. And this one is the parent ID, and this one is the process ID. Uh, sorry, this one is the process ID, and this one is the parent ID. In the project zero, you have the show show the process ID and to uh, show the process ID of the trial process. And then it's the queue. You can you can terminate you can terminate the process by PID here. Send a send a signal to this process. Each each signal have different speeds. Uh, well, if you are interested, just Google it. I uh, use help. VI or VIN. VI is a text editor. It's very useful, but it's very complex. In the VI, you can keep your finger in the keyboard. You don't need to use your voice. So you can you can pay attention to the programming. Yet use the device to move, move, move. In the VI, we, there is a there are a lot of common. And let's start. It. Like new file. I usually use VI. It's it's like. C plus plus to C. 
and you can open a new file by this comment. Sorry. By this comment, V I N and the file name. You can try it. And now we return the V I N. And we can do nothing for now. It's not like the notepad, so we can just import. If we want to import, you have to use I, I, or O. I is being insert in here. Now I have plus press I, so we get A, B, C, D, like that. And use E, S, C to exist. And then we can do nothing yet. After I delete. So here is the live one. <coughs> live. For this live, we can use O. Use O to create a new live and insert. Here. <coughs> yes. Live one point. 1.5 and we can use we can use A to insert out out this here back here and there is the up place I and up place O up place A up place O the like before Case I insert from the beginning. Up case A insert at end, end of the this line. If you want you can use H, J, K, L. H is mean left. L is mean right. J is mean down. K is mean up. So now, and you can add the number. I mean, if you want down two, we can price two J. And now, one, go to the second line. We can use two K. Ah, oh, sorry. We can use two K. And change here. You can change ten or one hundred as you like. Usually, in the Linux, this is mean end. This is mean begin. Is mean start. And the dollar sign is mean end. Usually, we can use here to go to, to go to the start of the slide and use the dollar sign. Go to the end. <coughs> There is two name B and E. B as back and E as next. Let's go to the next next word or next comma.
and you can use other place to go to the end and start. And let's, let's talk about uh, copy and delete. Delete is, you can use X or you can use D. X is, is the delete in the windows and And D usually use to delete a whole line. For instance, if I want to delete this line, we I use D D double D. If if I want to delete three line, I press three and D. So I delete three lines. Actually, in the VI, delete X is like cut in Windows. It put it put this this line in the buffer, and we can use P like paste. Now it's written. P. <coughs> And the lower case B is placed in download, up case B is placed in beyond. And for the copy, we usually use Y. It's similar with D. YY is copy a line, a whole line. And we can use four, up case Y to copy four lines. And here, we place four lines. <coughs> and now we want to save it and exist. Usually we saving use, we have the axis of the insert. And use sample and W. W is me right. It's saved this file. And we use Q to exist. If we modify A and I want to exist by just Q, it's impossible. You have to save or don't need this one. Like we use Q and quick, excuse mark. This means unsafe and exist. And we can use WQ means save and exist. Okay, that's it. So, any question about it? About VI? So we can finish here. And does anyone start your homework? <laughs>